Good boy. Uh, we're happy to have you know, the, uh, the new Cherokee uh, back in the game here in America. As you know, in, in 2001, uh, we stopped doing the Cherokee, and it was the, the vehicle that really defined capability for the whole midsize SUV segment. So when you have a name that's that powerful, and more importantly, when you have a vehicle that is capable as this vehicle has uh, you know, grown up to be, it just made a lot of sense for us to uh, make it uh, the, the all-new uh, Cherokee. So we have a new Trailhawk version, uh, which is also very special for us. You'll see the Limited uh, in a, here in a few minutes, it'll drive in, but the, the uh, Trailhawk, we introduced the concept and then we uh, had a, a Grand Cherokee Trailhawk to be the, the uh, really the peak of capability for the, for the vehicle. And that went over so well, we decided to do it with the, uh, with the Cherokee. So every Trailhawk version of the new Cherokee is trail rated. You can see that it is totally perfect build. Guys, we'll take it through the details here in a second with all of the uh, departure and break over and approach angles to make this really special. But every trail rated, uh, or every uh, Trailhawk is trail rated. You know, it gets a nice one inch lift, the red tow hooks, the, the real cool uh, colors. The, the, the anvil that this is is exclusive to Trailhawks. Uh, but this is what we're going to use as a brand to prove the capability. And, um, it's very important to us as we have a, uh, um, an obligation as really just the stewards of the brand to make sure that, that we do it right. We're going to use this vehicle to prove its capability. So this is a vehicle that will, you know, um, it's already run Moab, it's the one that's going to go down the Rubicon Trail. It's going to be the one that actually makes sure that we do what's right for Jeep and make it the most capable of all time. So. Um, I'll turn it over to these guys. I'll take you through uh, the details, but uh, that's the uh, the new Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Hi, how are you guys? I'm Greg Howell. Uh, so I'm, Greg Howell, I'm yeah. sorry, I want to interrupt you for a second. No, so Greg Howell's the exterior designer of the Cherokee, and then we've got Winnie Chung, who's the interior designer. And Audrey Moore is the engineer responsible for all the Cherokee vehicles, so they're going to help you out. They brought sketches. They brought proof. Um, so yeah, and you guys can look at them with me here in a bit, but I'm just going to briefly touch on the exterior and kind of where it came from, why we did what we did, when we did what we did. Um, we presented this thing to Sergio as a 2020-2019 vehicle, and he said, that's not the right year. We told them basically what we're doing here is we're designing the car for when it goes out of production, not for when we start production. Uh, and that was very important, this thing. Um, while it may be kind of polarizing now and alarming to a lot of people that didn't expect this, um, we feel that five years down the road, there's going to be a lot of other companies doing a lot of things like this. Um, in addition to that, this thing, there's really nothing else like it. We kind of knew that from the beginning. Um, we had the package, you know, we went forward with the design. but. We knew all along there wasn't really going to be anything else playing in this space, so we could do something completely different. Um, and I just briefly showed you the original sketches, but the idea of the original sketch was just to stop drawing all the things that would block your mind from, from making something fluid. And it was free up to take as many elements off of the idea as possible and just draw shapes for a while. So that's what we did. We drew shapes for like a month. Uh, which is a pretty rare opportunity for a designer to be left alone that long to, to draw anything. Um, usually it happens a lot quicker than that, but it was just clear your mind, draw shapes. And we, had, we ended up on this one, um, which, I'll, which I'll show you guys when everybody else is done talking, but it was a fluid shape. It was something that Jeep was not you know, known for, but it, it was a fluid shape that was captured by this like rock-crushing load that was really tough looking and that's what you see here. So you see this very dynamic, very fluid, very flowing design on top of this very brutish, skid plated, uh, lower carrying device basically. Um, so a lot of people have questions about where the lights come from and a lot of it was the sketches. So the, the lights were very thin in the sketch and we were like, we can't do that with a, with a bulb or any of that. We have to do that with LEDs. So that's why we put the DRL up top. Um, a lot of people compare it to say that the Juke was there, or, or um, you know, there have been other people to do that. Really, uh, Rolls Royce was the only one to do this before this vehicle, where you put LEDs up top as a signature light and then you put a projector down low. And the whole idea there was to keep all the expensive bits up above the water, right? So your water line is going to happen somewhere in here. So keep everything above that. Um, you know, the, the shark nose and the hood, we, we fought long and hard for this. Um, this is something that started in actually 19, the 70s on the original Cherokee. Uh, if you
to go back and look at that vehicle. It had something very, very similar to this. This is just a very radical version of it. Um, and then the, the lower, the two-tone, again, it was that, that rock-crushing lower. Uh, if you get around the side of the vehicle, you notice that it has a, a kick down in the DLL, so that's where the, the driver is looking out to the right. Um, the kick down is borrowed from the half doors from the two-tone, uh, all the way through present day, actually even older than that. You can see them behind you on that vehicle there. It's got that same kick in the, in the belt line. Um, and that's to, that's purposeful, so that's so you can lean out of the vehicle and you can see where that front left tire is. And then the back was something just just so radical. We wanted the, the back to look very integrated, so that's why the tail lamps are drawn the way they're drawn. Um, lots of LEDs and lots of technology. Um, tires, uh, you can see that this one's got some pretty aggressive tires for a vehicle in this class. Uh, they're probably the most aggressive in the class. So, uh, and then the wheels have a nice deep offset. So. There's a lot of stuff going for this platform. It's actually really, really fun to work on. Um, and I, I thank you guys for having an interest in coming down and looking at this stuff with us because uh, you're going to help us to kind of shepherd the word out there. Like, oh, I've seen that in person, and it, it's something to see. So uh, I appreciate your time. And uh, I'm going to hand it over, I think, to Winnie now. Yeah? So Winnie's going to talk to you guys about the interior, which means that you'll probably have to huddle around, you know, look in the door. I have to say